explain what transhumanism is and why it is so dangerous. Yeah, so I'll just uh, probably start with the history of it. Um, So there was a man named Julian Huxley. He's the brother of the famous author Aldous Huxley. He was president of the British Eugenics Society. The United (laughs) Nations is created um, after World War II. He is put in charge of UNESCO. In writing his vision for UNESCO, Julian Huxley says about eugenics, we need to make the unthinkable thinkable again. Ten years later, he coins the term transhumanism in a book Did called- Did he read his brother's work? Um, I'm sure actually that Aldous Huxley's work was influenced by the type of social milieu he inhabited, which okay. would include his, his, his brother, brother. Okay. and uh, you know, sort of that those intellectual circles uh, where both of them grew up, right? right? You know, this is the British aristocracy Mm -hmm. and really a lot of the idea of eugenics going back to Francis Galton and, you know, Darwinism and all of that, it seems to sort of emanate from, from their Fabian socialists and all of that. Yes. Um, So in, in a book in 1957, I believe called uh, new bottles for new wine, something like that. Uh, Julian Huxley coins the terms transhumanism and talks about how the new eugenics is going to be merging uh, man with machine. So this is basically eugenics rebranded and a lot of people that funded eugenics causes of the past, like the Rockefeller family Mm are, you know, big proponents of transhumanism today and it's it's getting uh, increasingly problematic um i would say you know if you look for example at the new head of the fda who very few people have bothered to look into um robert califf he's a former google health executive uh, google health has a joint venture venture with glaxo smith klein hmm. uh, called galvani bioelectronics i think the former head of that was monsef salawi who was in charge of operation warp speed and their focus is what they call bioelectronics medicine which is uh you know injectable nanotechnology that can manipulate your central nervous system